Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a little bit of Wasted Space Live. Given that we are missing one of the co-hosts, one of my hosts for Top Engineer, I figured I'd still do something this evening. You can expect some more Top Engineer soon, of course. But for tonight, there was a certain mod that I found out about on Shaq's stream that I kind of couldn't stay away from for long. I think you guys probably knew it was going to happen eventually, right? You knew it? So this is a mod by Volk, and the Witch, and Shao Tzu, and a whole bunch of people actually. Al Al Alicius seems to have helped as well, depending on which bits you're talking about. The Torpedo mod. And we're going to have to give this a try. We're going to have to see whether or not we can first of all work out what's the best deployment of this puppy. But then, more than that, whether or not I can make something cluster based, like the Lotus, that is perhaps not exactly the same, but is that... It, I've always wanted to make the Jericho, you know? Always wanted that Jericho. So we're going to have to give it a go. We're going to have to give it a try. Hello, everybody in chat. I hope you're all doing well. hope you're having a... I, I don't know why we do these on a Tuesday. It seems like a really weird day. Is that, are you all having a good weekend? No, that's not right. Are you having... No, we can't say I have a good week yet. Did you have a good Monday? Maybe? Maybe that's as far as we can get. But hey. What we can do is get the hell started. So while I am set up down on the surface with obviously some bits and bobs I start together simply to take a screenshot. What we do need to do really first, I think, is get up into space and I just want to have a look at what sort of damage we can expect per missile. And then almost immediately whether or not I can trigger the guidance system from a missile separated from a missile. You guys will understand pretty quickly why that's important if you can't see it already. But that's kind of one of the clux the crutches of this, is whether or not the, the guidance system is going to work, or whether I'm going to have to manually target these, like, cluster style. Apologise if my throat goes a bit funky as well. I think I might be starting to get a bit ill again. Is I don't know. It's been horrible weather in the UK for some non-apparent reason. I don't know why, but it's decided that the summer is officially done. I know why, actually. It's because we're in the UK. That's why. And as usual, folks, please let me know if there's anything up with the levels or anything like that. I want to make sure the stream is nice and clear. Uh, what am I missing? Missing corner ones. Go. Yes, I'm still old school and do it like this, although these are actually in the wrong order for normal. Normally we would have those two next, then those two next, and then on this bar. Old school, and then here we go. Look at all this. Look at all this stuff. Huge amount of stuff. <laughs> hey, hey, Wedge. Wedge is always welcome to participate, but I don't want to pressure on him, given that he has plenty to do himself. So we've got these hard points, and I've actually got these hard points to work since Shaq's stream. I don't know what's going on on Shaq's version, but they don't seem to work on his, whereas for me, they've worked fine. So, mm -hmm. uh, so we need a battery, we need the engines. I want to go small ship for this. I think small ship makes more sense. Uh, let's get the tips. We're definitely going to need to check out timer, but no. What I'm after is... Have we got the separated block yet? Nope. I don't yet recognize these blocks by vision, so this might be a little bit clunky while I start working out. There you go, CC interface is the one we're after while I'm working out what they look like. Because, you know, they're all purple and strange. They're all purple and strange. I guess it's a mod conflict for Shaq, but yeah, it's something that I'm not having in mind, so I can actually play around with their normal layout. Uh, these struts look quite cool. I might end up having to use those to fit as much on as possible. But what have we got at the moment? What am I missing? I'm missing the gyro, and the gyro is another really important part, because I need to find out whether the guidance gets screwed by making a gyro constantly spin. I guess you guys can imagine where I'm going for from that sort of angle. So, I guess we kick off with our CC interface. And we're going to do small ship, as I said, for this. I think large ship would get ridiculous. Uh, not necessarily, because I tried it in Shaq's game as well, and I couldn't get it to work either. But just that, built like that, works fine. I tested it before. Build me a bomber to deliver the missiles. So the other thing I figured out with this design is there's actually going to be a bit of that stuff that we all know and love. Some wasted space. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'm a bad person. 
So that is a stabilizer, I believe, is a gyro for these things. Isn't there? Yeah, they, then you've got these things that are separate, the attachment points that you can slap onto available holes, on some of them at least. Not all of them will take... They're defined as payloads, but yeah, not all of them will take one of these. But in theory, if I can get a few gyros on one like this, this is going to be the bit that makes, obviously, the whole thing spin to give us the initial separation like the Lotus works. I assume you guys all know what the Lotus is, right? I don't need to demonstrate that. I, I'm happy to demonstrate it if you need me to, but... I imagine, I imagine people are aware of what the Lotus is. Because that's kind of always been my goal to some extent, is can we make something that, that beats that? Because it's me super weapon that I can't, every time I try, I can't make it any better, really. Like the Planetary Lotus wasn't technically any better than the ones I did previously, you know. Yeah, last week's disaster didn't go great. Um, I mean, Wedgie is, is always welcome to join me, but as I said, there's, there is no pressure on him, and if he wants to chill and watch, then that is what he wants to do, and that's fine. We'll get back with Top Engineer when Tex is next available. That was that was the end result, was we didn't have Tex available, and if we don't have Tex available, there's not much we can do. Right, what can I use to space this design out? I don't need a connector. Merge cylinder, no. Mass, this is all useless. Do I just conveyors? They seem to just be a way of continuing to run. I'm not bothered about making this survival ready at the moment. Not until I understand the mod a bit better. Already looking for an excuse to use the look. Well, I'm, to be fair, I'm, I'm making its replacement. It is appropriate. So we use these to space things out a bit. Actually, I'm getting too tied up. We want, firstly, a bit of a, a test of which tip works best against a, a sort of standard armor layout. Ah, oh, I haven't put the guidance on these, have I? Where's the guidance module? Not on my bars, or is that the guidance module? No, that's the timer. Payload. Where's guidance? There we go. It's the one with guidance written on it, Wes. Believe it or not, it's that one. So yeah, we need that on there, and then I'm going to mess around a little bit Firstly, testing penetration with these, because I think that's going to be important. But also, then, how willing it is to have me attach stuff to it. Um, so, what we'll probably do with these is I'll set up some different thicknesses of armor that we can test them against, launch them off relatively simply, and just see what sort of damage we get out of the different heads, and then whether you can buff them up with add adding additional warheads behind the initial explosion. These are not colored differently by default. The models look identical, so... Or did I just fail to put down the... Torpedo, that's a... Make sure I've done this right. Not screw up the test. Yeah, they just have the same model. Okay. Yellow is, is non-explosive, red is explosive. We'll do it that way. I think that makes sense. And, and then on this last one, initially... Because the lovely thing is this supports small blocks. You just whack small stuff down. Why am I searching for small? What I should be searching for is everybody's favourite warheads. So you can just attach warheads to it for lols. Uh, these will need a sensor to trigger them these days, so I think the best way to handle that is to add just something random at the front, because there is a torpedo sensor block as well. <laughs> yeah, indeed, Farrell. Wondering when I uh, you know, knew this was coming, wondering when I was going to play around with this eventually. If you know me, then you do know that this was going to happen. Spherical gravity. Why on earth would you want a spherical gravity block for this? Anyway, the sensor looks like that one. It's nice that it literally has all the different block types you could possibly want. Although, at this size, they are a little bit tricky to waste to turn your crosshair on. That's what helps, is if you can also target things. Hey, look. Look how easy it is when you can see. Uh, okay, so this sensor is going to be... I don't even know... I'm going to have to put an antenna on this so I can see what the hell's going on with that sensor. There is an antenna in the setup as well. Yep. I already like this mod. To the point where it feels slightly like I'm cheating. You know what I mean? I already feel a bit like, meh. This is too easy. This is too easy. <laughs> Holy crap. That's a big range from a tiny little sensor. Alright, we can sort you out. 
Shield you burnt. Right, which way is the right way? Not Bob. It's not going to be bottom either. Left or right? Nope. Front. I've got it backwards. I think. No, I don't even have it backwards. Left is correct. Left is forwards. So we're going to want to... Now, one of the stupid things with Space Engineers, and you learn this after a while doing, um, anything that's sensor-triggered, as far as, like, warheads and stuff like that, is all of them... I should probably set ownership on this. Yeah, it is. All right. Detect owner, detect friendly, neutral and enemy only. Makes sense. Or maybe enemy. No, we need neutral for the things. Anyway, the, the what I was saying was... Um, yeah, I've completely lost my plot now. What the hell was I saying? God, help me, chat. What on earth was I talking about? Oh, yeah, sensor activation. As these things speed up and move faster... I don't know if there's an easy way of demonstrating this. There probably is. If I turn my dampers off... Right, watch this... Uh, when I paste it in, this whole projection... They might have fixed this, actually. When I paste this in, the whole sensor range is going to jump... Whoop. Why haven't you inheriting my velocity? That didn't work very well. It is moving, but not very fast. Anyway, the sensor, the, the, the actual um, sensor grid bit, this, the size of it has mass for no apparent reason. So it, it will. The faster the missile is going, the further back this entire sensor block is going to travel. The sensor sort of area is going to travel. So you always need. To, this looks like it's stupidly far ahead. Trust me, you need it that far ahead because this entire thing is going to move backwards and the game's going to be a bit laggy. Oh, good. There's lightning. That's always good when I'm streaming. Lightning. It's Tuesday. Anyway, you sir you can go away. Let's go and find where I left the other stuff. Not there. There. There we go. Yeah, of course, there is a full-on thunderstorm. Why not? Why not? So that should be sufficient to mean that it definitely triggers. If it triggers early, we can fix it, but... Wow, that is really loud. God's sake. All right, let's arm some warheads. Warhead, yeah. And where's our sensor? Going absolutely blind because they're all called torpedo payload something. I hate the fact there's a custom data button as well. Groups, you will be detonating that. Yeah, that sensor looks like it's lit up. That's probably not good, is it? Detect players? No. Don't detect players. Why on earth would you detect players? Uh, we're going to want you to detect the large ships. That works because we don't have any and stations. So there won't be any around. So that's a, that's a safe sensor for the time being. You're right, Thor. How's it going, man? Cool. That's enough for some initial tests, I think. Let's get some armor blocks up. Uh, we do explosive on the end of this. I don't. I th I like the idea of non-explosive at the tip, and then the explosives follow in, you know. But maybe we need to test that as well. But either way, I'm going to set up set up a um, yeah. Let's test that as well. I set up a, a couple of armor block targets for us to see what penetration we get, what sort of damage we get, because you know it, it, it's no point building the missile off a design and then finding out afterwards that your design isn't particularly efficient. So let's get some heavy as well. A bit of both. Uh, that's a nice visible colour white. Get over here. I will use the missile guidance block. I'm not for this particular test because I'm going to be shooting them in straight lines. Should be way easy. Uh, but I will for the final design. One of the things I want to check while I'm up here is whether or not that guidance block can be activated by a timer after it's separated from an existing missile. Because sometimes the scripts go a bit wonky when you do that sort of thing. So let's grab a copy of you, paste you on. Ciao. If it goes through five, five thick of heavy, then to be honest, it's doing all right. I don't think it will. If it does, it's probably a bit broken. Is that, that is heavy, right? I, I think it is. It looks heavy, but I've got to check now just to be absolutely sure. Otherwise, I'll feel like a tool. Have it wrong for all the testing. and will be like, wait, did you fuck that up? No, it is heavy. Hopefully, I didn't just impart motion to it as well. <laughs> I accidentally touched it. 
Ow, don't touch the thing. Cool. You there. That's on a group survival playlist at the moment, apparently. Isn't the intention, but that's what it's doing. Uh, you're not quite lined up. Wanna... What have you aligned to there? I have to be perfect, and I probably don't want you next to each other either, quite. Okay, and this one's light armor, so let's color that one this color. And let's get some copies sat over there so that I can redo the tests if need be. Cool! Don't need much distance for this to accelerate, which is nice. Morph seems to be settling in relatively well. He's an update over on his channel if you guys are interested in what things are going on with him and so on. Some of you may well have already seen it, but yeah. So what do we do? We start with maybe... Actually, I should start with more targets than this. This is this is a pathetic number of targets. Try again, Wes. You're moving, aren't you? Yep. Should have allowed stations in this. Oh well. Oh well. It'll make it more amusing when they do get hit and go flinging off into the distance. And then I've got to chase after them to try and work out what the hell we did. That'll be funny, right? That won't be tiresome. That's the one. <laughs> That's the idea, uh, Luna. That is the idea. I want it to go in search and destroy. So we have a range of possibilities when we unload the cluster the cluster can target multiple different things rather than being locked on a single thing. Uh, now there was a camera mod for this that probably could have made things a lot easier as well. Not mod, there's a camera block for this. Let's have a look. Cam, yeah. All nicely made so that you know where to... Uh, that's got to be backwards, surely, yeah. Surely. Great. Okay, let's get spec our spec cam set up in a sensible location. Where are our targets? I am blind. There's our targets. Not blind, I'm moving at like some crazy speed. That'll be the one. Cool. Okay. Probably want to side on and we'll move her up as we go, right? Probably not looking into the sun. Let's look this way. Nice. Righty then. So I should just be able to cheekily access all of this via a control panel on the side. Let's um let's take a save just in case I need to reload. Reloading won't be a bad thing. I have custom loading screens. They're funny. <laughs> Still not done yet. There's something I need to finish off. But hey, I'll work on the, the spinny and everything else later. To begin with, just want to see how much damage they do. So where's our camera? Why can I not view the camera through this? Oh, you, that's not fair. That's not fair. Normally you can cheat it up and view it through control panels. Oh. All right, I'll put a remote control and an antenna on it. Fine. Make me actually work. I just wanted to do it the cheap and easy way, but no. In fact, it probably already had one. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. We're all good. All right. I don't know which one's which. Does this? this well, no, that's the wrong one. <laughs> that's the wrong one. That's the right one. Huzzah! Camera. You. I need to be remote controlling it as well. Try that again, shall we? Troll first, then I can camera. In fact, I can just camera off the bars, can't I? 
as long as I also grab... Oh, it does have guidance. Okay, I did put guidance on it. That's fine. That kind of works. And... View. It's upside down. It is very upside down. This is all going to be fine. I got this under lockdown. So, this is test number one. Which is a what? What are we doing? This is an explosive penetrator against light. But first, I should take a copy of this so that we can do this twice. So that I'm not an idiot. Explosive penetrator versus small target locked small grid. No. What are you locking onto? That's not a small grid. Did I make them out of small armor? I don't think I did. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. You guys reckon it is a small grid. Alright, well let's go for it. We'll see. We'll ride rocket view. I oh, know it is, it is. Coming in. Switch the camera. Boosh! Holy shit, those are broken. How much damage did he set those warheads to do? Wow. Wow. Okay, we can have some fun with this puppy. Wow. Yep. Okay. Um, these are quite good. Quite, quite, quite good. Yes. He's got a new boy, lads. Get him. Okay. Heavy armor time then. That was five layers thick. Light armor just straight through it with explosion radius to spare. You can see the explosion radius hasn't even started to reduce through the layers. Okay. There's two. It's right on board for the heavy armor. And switch. Boosh. Oh, the impact speed of those things is awesome. I really need to turn my in-game sound up, don't I? My in-game sound is clearly not loud enough. We need to be hearing these explosions a bit better. Even against heavy armor, shit, son. I love how the Space Engineers explosion mechanics work. Like, they don't make a huge amount of sense with how the explosion travels. But hey, they look cool. Crap, man, that is... That is kind of scary. Look how they've left their feet in space as well. <laughs> Okay, so that was the explosive. I kind of want to do that one more time, just because that was really good fun. These things are amazing. God, I'm just going to be playing with these for weeks now. Jack never really let me play with it on the stream. That was the thing. He was just like, yeah, yeah, look, I've got a missile. Do you want to shoot one? Like, yeah, sort of. What I really want to do is shoot lots. And... Oh, 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 interesting. I forgot to arm the warhead, and this is what we get. She is being pushed out into nowhere. That's no warhead. Yep. That 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 is a no warhead scenario. Oh, yeah, chat knows it, knows it as well. Chat is all over that shit. I'm stupid. I'm also stupid because I took a copy of the wreckage rather than the missile. But hey, it is time to move on to the penetrator and see how well she does. So we on this, we've got a camera, but we do need the other two, don't we? We need our, our remote control and our antenna. No need to arm this one, so I can't forget to do that. That's a good start. And let's see how 
the just the penetrator does. Same test again. Light armor. This is the right one, yeah? No warheads on this? No, there are warheads on that. There you go. Top one's the right one this time. Troll. I assume there's no need to war. Yeah, it's not even in the list, is it? No, it's not even in the list. No need to warp. No need to... Uh... Ah, right. What I should do is add this stuff to my bars... So we're going to want, where's our guidance? We want lock, we want launch, and we want the camera. View, there you go. Now let's exit, take a copy of that one. So we've got a fresh, top one is the one we are after. Control, view, okay, same deal. Random upside down controls, because that's fun. Whoa! Random upside down, really sensitive controls, because I put loads of gyros on it in the hope that we were going to use them, but not yet. Okay, let's log on. And fire. This is our penetrator. He's coming in at speed. Oh, the penetration is strong. Let's see how it does against the heavy armor, because hell, that wasn't bad. That went straight through and it looked like it could have gone further, you know? I get the impression that could have done more, much like the explosive one. Women hell, old cats with the two dollar donation on the warheads. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I know, I said that. Did I not say that? Is the lag, the, the delay tonight so bad that people did not hear that yet? Or am I just stupid and I didn't say it? What, what happened? You guys confuse me. That's quite easy, to be fair. Okay, once more. Into the breach, dear missile. This time, the heavy. Please go straight the way through so that I can set up a dual cluster that has penetrators at the front followed by explosives behind. That would be that would be fun. I would enjoy that. Let's see. Let's see now if this is what we get to play with. Staying on board, you watch it lock, and then oh, boom. I can't help but feel like that damage is almost identical to the damage we dealt with the explosive penetrator. It is the right one, but that is basically identical. Okay, chat lag. Chat lag is hard. Real this evening. Roger that. Well, we're not on YouTube because we expect decent chat lag, to be honest. Sadly, that is not one of the things that comes with the YouTube side of stuff. All right, well, next up, Next up, we need to go remote camera. This has got an antenna, right? Yep, because we've set up the sensors. We need to see if this blows too early. This is with the penetrator, but then the warhead's behind it. If it blows at the right time, we're golden. See what it follows up. I didn't need to arm the second one. I really didn't need to arm the second one because it's 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 a it's a penetrator. The penetrators don't need arming. So the yellow warheads we've got here, these ones, these are the um, penetrator warheads. So they don't have explosives in them. They're just designed to penetrate. Whereas I think this one should actually have a red tip on it, but maybe I just have two standard ones here. But with the other design, oh, I've already taken a copy. With the other design, this one over here, that's just a standard penetrator tip. So it's there's no warhead in there to arm. So the last two tests I did don't have warheads that need arming. So this one again is one that doesn't need arming, whereas I think this one over here does. That's an explosive penetrator, so this should really be. I've been painting the explosive ones red to try and remember which way around they go. But yeah, that, that penetrator should be red. This one's the one we're gonna we're gonna try playing with first. Uh, and I want to make sure we get the warheads set up right, so... Or at least we can see what the warheads are doing, so that I don't screw up with the second test. Way up, are we? A funny way up, is the answer. Sun in the eyes! Sun in the eyes! What do I think of the latest update for SE? Uh, you. Yeah. Skins, alright. I like the fact that we've got a better suit colour picker. They fixed my dodgy random colour head trick. Bit sad about that. Can't complain, but I'm a bit sad. Uh, that's probably about it. Honestly. 
Uh, up at the moment, Space Engineer seems to be behaving really well, so I really can't complain. Okay, this is Penetrator... Warheads. Let's start naming these so that I can actually <laughs> remember what's going on, and maybe even save some copies so that I don't lose them. I don't get an idea of what's what. Okay, so we've got Penetrator Warheads. I believe this has got too long a sensor at the moment, but we will have to see. Don't actually know which one's which, but hey. Where's our remote? Grab our remote. Whack onto our bars. Lock. Launch. Arm. And what am I missing? Camera. That's a sensor. It doesn't have a camera. It's missing a camera. I fuck. Ooh. Almost. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> kind of forgot I was controlling that. Let's get rid of that one. Try and do this a bit better, shall we? Yes, the ever encroaching potential failure. It will come eventually. The question is in just what form. Just put that on the wrong one as well, didn't I? I swear it already had a camera, but whatever. No, I got turned upside down. I put it on the right one. Right, my friend. What have you got? Grab our remote. Where's the camera? There was a camera. I'm just blimmin' blind. I am a really, really blind person. Even more so when... Ow, space engineers. Ow! Away. Okay. She's locked on. I don't think there's much more to it. But fires the missiles. I don't know which ones it's which one it's gonna hit, so. I don't know if those warheads helped at all. That's a penetrator, and I, I don't think those warheads did anything. I don't think they did nada. I mean, it's pretty and all, but I don't think they've helped in the slightest. All right. Well, in the interests of... I suppose I should... In the interests of completeness, I should probably go for... That last target. Heavy armor. Control you. Still need to add a camera. Okay. It's heavy armor. That's the layer we smashed before, so... Lock on. Warheads are armed, you can see on the bar. No, you say not armed again. Look on the bar. There you go. Armed, disarmed. You see? They were armed. <laughs> well, I have lost my spectator camera somewhere out in space. That's why you lose your spectator camera. Because you speed it up to the point where you can't move immediately out of range. It's the same damage, right? That's the one that's floating back. How do we... It does identical damage, pretty much, to light and heavy. That's a bit weird. But, sure, whatever. Yeah. <sighs> Chat, you guys are trolls. Because half the time you're right, and half the time you're wrong. And the problem is, I have to go back and tell you, look, look, the war warheads I made into a group and armed earlier. So the warheads on these blueprints have been armed the whole time. The heads might not have been on some of the earlier ones, but this thing's been armed all along. Now the sensor may not have triggered, so that's a good point. That's a good point. Sensor not triggered, that's what I mean. Half the time chat is, is having good ideas, and half the chat, half the time chat is just, just wrong. <laughs> Alright, minus 500. 
when did, or do the torpedo payload sensors have a much larger range than the standard ones? Because 500's enormous. Sensors are not triggering by small grid. Now that's a better idea. That's a better point. Okay, so let's stick the sensor back down to, what was it, on 15? Minus... Uh, <laughs> Alright, you've just put a minus in front of it there in the UI. But the sensor's set to the wrong targets. Yes, you guys are correct. Okay, set up there. Uh, let's go straight for heavy, as I've got a, a literal comparison for that. Can't say it was always the point. That's not the case. You were saying warheads weren't on. Okay, well, looks like they fixed the sensor bug. That's good news. The sensor, um, they used to be the case that this would act as a, a physics mass, but it looks like they've actually corrected that. So that's cool. I might need to even move the sensor back then. Probably do. I don't want it to be triggering that early. Probably want to move all the warheads back as well in reality, but... Where is the sensor? I can't... I don't know which one's which. There it is. You see you, my friend. Need to go further back. I need more control. You guys are still in the group. Where's our sensor two? Hard. Looks like left extent again is the correct one. So how about five? A bit too far. Okay, so let's bring her down to what? 1.5 maybe. Ah, we want to, want the tip to hit and then them to blow. I think they're still going to be too close. For a, I think they're going to get damaged by the initial impact more than anything else. But this is going to be maybe two meters then. That's still going to lose the front block. My sensor action is set to detonate, indeed. I could set it to start timer, I suppose. But for now, it's set to detonate, indeed. That was intentional. Thank you for the donation, Tony Lab. Thank you very much. Uh, but, yes, what was the point? Uh, okay, so this is going to be like 2.15, maybe. And then I'm going to want to go, no, no. Still not quite right. Cool. Am I out of targets now? I have one heavy armor target left. Sure. Why not? Why not? You're the right one. You should have sensor two. Yep, you're the right one. Oh, I didn't set up sensor action. Oops. Detonate. Okay. Let's take a fresh copy quickly before I forget. You're not the right one. You're not the right one. You're the right one. It's a small two. Yeah, it is sensor small two. It's not, it's not three. It is this one. See? That one. Okay, so... We have our two spare tar targets, and then we have... Let's go for heavy armor over here. Technically locked on. Warheads are on, as you can see on the bar. 
Let's go. Again, no real difference. I don't think the warheads are exploding correctly. I'm not sure this is... Do the mod include warhead panels, really? Oh. Oh. But I think what we, what we can probably conclude here, and I suspect this is going to be even borne out by just blowing up a warhead on the surface is that actually this stuff is the small ship warheads don't do very much damage at the moment uh, I need some way of accessing this box yeah they just don't do very much at the moment so the this mod is a little bit unbalanced I suspect but that doesn't stop me from wanting to play with it anything I don't care I can't see that okay not that then See whether or not they've changed things, but oh, okay, maybe, maybe they have. Maybe they've updated warhead damage again. I haven't played with small warheads in a while. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's load this thing back up again, and let's uh, get ourselves some cluster on the go. So the next check is to see whether or not I can do something funky with the splitting mechanism. So this is going to take a little bit longer, because I'm going to need one rocket that's quite complex with other rockets attached to it, and it's going to need to be named correctly, which is probably a bit boring to watch. But you guys seem to be enjoying clenching at the moment more than anything else. No, I'm sure the large block version is, in is incredibly broken. This is the small grid version. This is this this is the small grid version. Or is it not? No, yeah, this is the small grid version. That's the large grid version. <laughs> it can get quite a lot larger. Oh, sorry, Virtual Gaming. We've got new targets. Not only that, but I felt like this would be a good opportunity to, like, maybe, um... Come on. Come on, don't screw me now, Blueprints. My Blueprints are screwing me over. I had I had some stuff set up ready for this. Yeah. I should have something in here called... Really? You were showing up earlier. What have I done? Have I managed to unsubscribe from it? I'm just going to use that as a target. Because we really need like to find out against a large ship now. Like, what, What's the damage against a large ship? Because I want to be able to take out large ships with this. I guess there's only one real... Um, there's only one real choice, isn't there? Yeah, we'll test the large ship version as well. We got to really just to find out how good it is. Because so far this has been blooming ridiculous. Aha! There we go. A target of value, one might say. The whale. Get it to align with the the blocks nicely. Ah, the whale. Space whales, as, as then otherwise known. So, one space whale. Let's harpoon it, indeed. I am Ahab. Okay, we this save is from a point where none of these had remote controls on them yet. That was a poor move, wasted. A poor move, but hey. Payload timer. In fact, this is a save where I don't even appear to have them on my bars.
Or maybe I do, and I'm just getting confused by the fact that multiple blocks look the same. Okay, we've got an antenna, we've got guidance. This is the standard penetrator, small ship variant. Be the only one with a remote at the moment. There she is. No need to arm this one. Just to confirm for a chat. I suppose I could show you a little, while I line this up, a little brief glimpse of what it is we're... Oh god, the, the controls are reversed in the most horrible way this time. Up is left, down is right, right is up, and left is down. So there you go, there's a whale. We, we harpoon these, for lols. Go line ourselves up. This thing is a work in progress that I'm doing with the community on the Twitch streams. So this is why you haven't seen this on the channel yet. I built the majority of it myself on, again, the Twitch streams. Designed to be a primarily asymmetrical ship. So if you look side to side, the sides are different widths, there's different detail, and the internals are completely the wrong way around. And it's also huge and relatively detailed and reasonably well thought through. And at some point I'll have to show you guys this ship properly once it's done because at the moment everyone is up on this floor which is really dark at the moment decorating various rooms. Actually no, this is not the updated blueprint. People have been doing a lot of work to this on the streams. I get people in on communities build streams and we go and work on the, the whale. Because why not? That camera is pointed right at the passenger arrival lounge. No it's not. The passengers don't arrive on this side. Uh, passengers arrive on this side. This is where passenger so, uh, VIP deck is here, uh, including the main VIP quarters, which has its own shuttle bay. Uh, and then passenger arrival will be here. And in the more recent version, there's uh, actually something there now. Uh, whereas on this side, I think, I think we might be pointed at the... Either we're pointed at the captain's quarters or actually maybe you're right maybe we're pointing at security maybe we're pointing at security line ourselves up nice make sure we're on the right side i think that's the right side give me some lights and let's give it some death why has view camera disappeared off oh no, it hasn't Dot. oh yes i was pointed right at security wasn't i who should we take out should we take out the captain himself Maybe we should take out the captain himself. Cap! Cap, you've got some problems. Incoming. Oh, oh, the guidance has decided it's going to go for the antenna, I think. Hmm. That's not bad, I suppose. I suppose that's a bit crap, no? Okay, large ship it is. Okay, what else are we gonna need? Interface. Kind of it, isn't it, really? Stabilizer on for shits and giggles. Thrust booster for shits and giggles, but you don't actually need any of this shit. What you need is a remote that can actually go on it. A guidance system. An antenna. Camera somewhere? Have I not got anywhere left I can put a camera? Am I going to need to put a thing on just to put a camera on it? Maybe. <laughs> uh, maybe the conveyor's got loads of ports? Yeah, the conveyor's got loads of ports. Conveyor's the one you want if you want to slap. Extra, extra little payloads on it without having... other stuff involved. And then finally, let's go with one of those. Take a copy. And go with... 
one of these as well. Explosive penetrator, no less. Hmm. Everyone loves a bit of explosive penetration, right? <gasps> sure, so. Large grid 134. This is the one that has the explosive tip. Let's start off with the non explosive tip, shall we? Shall we? Yes. Holy shit. This has got a lot of gyro control and it's also weirdly reversed. Who gets it next, I wonder? Actually, I don't get really get to choose, do I? Target locked. Whale. It's not what you want. <laughs> it's not what you want on the readouts in the ship. Shit, target locked. Run away, we're just a cargo hauler. I kind of want to try and make it run away, but... That sounds like it's starting to get complicated at that point. Okay then. Uh, go. She's off. She doesn't seem to accelerate anything like as fast. No, nothing like as fast. And because of that, damage was weak from the penetrator. Looks like the large ship ones need much more thrust to really get anywhere, because that was travelling way slow. Okay, well, that only leaves one choice, really, doesn't it? This one's got everything it needs, yeah? Yeah. Oh, no, wait, let's paste in a... Paste in a copy while we've got one. Arm. I've armed it, chat. Look. It's armed. Right. Now I can move on. <laughs> Wasted tumultuous relationship with Chad. I don't think it would make a particularly good series. It's a drama, but it's not a good one. And the sun is in our eyes. Well, there's nothing for it then. Target locked whale. Fire. Fire torpedo of goodness. Let's watch it accelerate. It's there. Yeah, look, we've just not got enough distance. It's getting up to... Oh, maybe it'll just about hit close to max speed in time holy but jesus i could tell you before i even before the dust even cleared that that was going to be pretty sizable the whale has not fared well for a comparative let's see what a standard large warhead does to the other side they're not quite identical i've mentioned this but Standard large warhead, other side. Our character over here. We actually have a control panel on them. Armed and five seconds. How do the how do the just standard warheads do in comparison? Okay, the large ship warheads are considerably more powerful. Holy fuck. Okay, that's that's kind of impressive. This did... I mean, admittedly, it is exploding into a slightly more open area, but this did almost no damage, whereas on the far side, it's opened up, like, all three decks on multiple levels. Damn, okay, the large ship ones are pretty scary. Hmm, well then. That, that's a thing. This world's loading nice and fast. Oh, a quick load again. I'm very sad that none of my custom loading screens are appearing. I would not be surprised if Keen had somehow introduced something into the patch that made sure that it got rid of those. They were not flattering. I quite like these, yes. 
No, next step now is to try a multi multi torpedo, multi multi pedo. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm that one's now floating. Okay, multipedo. That's not a thing. Ooh, actually, I really hope that's not a thing. I suddenly realised <laughs> that, that could be taken entirely the wrong way. Okay, uh, so I don't think there's anything particularly complex to this other than giving myself space to do it properly. So we're going to need to be relying on the these blocks quite heavily because I need space to like actually space the missile out a bit so let's um one of you and then you sure this one's a boy right, that he could be a stabilizer like a why is my follower notification still on oh i see go away you do not need that active thank you very much <laughs> It's already invading everything else. Okay, where are we going with this? So CC interface, and each one of these CC interfaces, and this is the only real downside to this, is there's no way of... What is there? Oh, hang on a moment. Oh, I might have a plan. Do any of these allow me to attach stuff onto the sides? Yes, 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 yes. Come on. Let me... Not those. No, I need to be able to get... Nine onto the side of these. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. I need to be able to attach these onto the side of the rockets. Basically. Because the problem with these things is... They've only got one connection point. So I'd have to build a very prickly one rather than doing what I did with the Lotus. But if I can find a way of getting all these things to be... I mean, I do know a way, but it's ugly. It is way ugly. It's this thing. That will let you do it. Is there anything else in here that might? I'm not seeing it. It's not jumping out at me, if I'm, if I'm brutally honest. I could do it backwards. Ooh, I could do it backwards. Will it work backwards? There's our conveyor thing. Will this work backwards? You guys won't attach onto the side of there, will you? God damn you. Well then, I do know what to do. We're going to convert it and then convert it back. Yes, yes. It's a plan, it's a plan. Where are you? Fat, uh, small to fat, small to fat. Up there. Yes. Not that way around. Fine. That way around. Okay, so this is an adapter. I believe it's a merge block. It's a small ship merge block. I don't need it to be a merge block. That's not important. All it does is convert it up to the right size to use standard armor blocks. Which means that I can slap on an armor block there, and then we can hard point this on all sides. And that's how, well, in fact, not all sides, because we need one side in this whole mix to enable us to actually attach onto our aircraft. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Okay, so this is a rear ring, definitely, and what am I going to call you, R1, R2, if I don't name these now, they're going to be a nightmare later. Always an important part for like, if you're going to do like, com not complex even, but just like anything when it comes to doing uh, projects that involve multiple timer setups, you've got to have everything named right, or multiple light setups, or any of that crap. We're going to lose a fair bit of space to this, but I'm not very good at naming stuff, by the way. I, I'm preaching, but all you've got to do is take one look at like this blueprint menu here. Look at this rubbish. Look how many small grids there are. Don't, uh, I mean, it's, it's a do-what-you-do-what-you-do 
do what I say, not what I do kind of scenario. You know? You know? You know how it is. I know I can't attach a pylon thing to anything other than a CC interface, but now I can attach CC interfaces to these pylons. You see? Oh, I've got an idea for the mounting system all of a sudden as well. Oh, that's that. I think that's perfect. I think I just need to leave one. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. So I need to add one block there on one point so that they sit slightly lower for the rest of the vessel to have clearance. And then on this one point, we have a downwards thruster that engages before anything else happens. So we had something like that there, and have I got thrusters on my bar? No, I don't. Right, we need. Um, there's these funny side, like tiny little lateral thrusters. They're hilarious. Or you can get these payload thrusters. That Atmo payload. Oh, I'm going to have to do an Atmo and an Ion variant where I switch the thrusters around. Interesting. But yeah, those thrusters there can actually force us away. Where is this? Right, yeah, these. Off, full override. These are our eject thrusters. Yeah. Yep. So those are what's going to push us away from the ship as the missile detaches. And I'll put on the timer a small while for the uh, allow for the missile to drop. Then we're going to trigger the target for the main missile. And then a little while afterwards, we're going to trigger timers on the satellite missiles that are going to activate guidance on those missiles independently. So if anything else has shown up, then those can pick on that target too. And then I'm going to spin the whole thing as it's flying in order to mean that these missiles separate away from the main body of the craft. There are hybrid thrusters, someone says. Not in this format. I'm fine, I can just change them. I can just change them. No, I, I think this has got some legs behind it, definitely. Do some very silly things with this, especially if I start paying attention and actually like, get on the bars I want. I should relay out my bars, perhaps. They're in a very silly order, but I'll learn it eventually. All right, we need another... I suspect we may want two of those thrusters. I don't think they're going to be very powerful. I don't know what you guys reckon, but I can't see those being hugely strong. So, let's make sure we've got two of them in a group. Control panel. So this is, uh, well, it's going to be eject two, isn't it? Let's be called eject one instead. And we'll group them. Cool. Right, now I really need to see what size these side missiles are going to turn out to be, because that's going to dictate the main body. I don't want this to be too big. I want the idea to be that you can mount multiple of these things at once. Use them a bit like the sort of... Um, like uh, uh, sort of the idea where you've got an Apache and you've got those sort of missile... I don't know what to call the part, but the trees that hang off, right? That are responsible for... I should do these one at a time. In fact, I should do these independently of being connected on and then launch them as groups. Uh, that's a far better idea. But yeah, the, the, the idea, you know, those trees that they, they actually mount the missiles on. I'm, I'm thinking make it so that the tree launches and then <laughs> the missiles launch off the tree. I, 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 yeah. I think this is an entirely fair and just way to go about it. Okay, so the CC interfaces have got lots of stuff on them. So this is, these aren't going to need to be very complex in reality. They're going to need to have a guidance, a timer, and a, and a warhead. And, a, and I guess a stabilizer so they can actually control themselves. I might be inclined to whack a thrust booster on on the basis that... Oh, actually, this might start taking up too much space and make these too large. 
because they can't go back any further than the... Actually, this could be one longer. Yeah, and then... So what did we get? We got stabilizer, then up front... We need the main warhead. Do I want to whack anything else on while I can? No, that should be alright. Where's, where's, where's my warhead signing? So, little ones, do they penetrate or do they explode? Yeah, I can set a maximum missile speed. Uh, I'm trying to think about how to lay the missiles out. Do you have the main one penetrate and the little ones explode? Or the little ones penetrate? Or do they all explode? Or Surely they all explode. Right? They've all got to explode. Whoa! Hot damn! Hot damn, son! Romulus! Hundred dollar donation, shit! Been on a boat for the last month, catching up on the channel. Top engineer, engineer wars. I love it. Nice man. Well, I hope your whatever the hell you were doing on the boat was was enjoyable. Because yeah, that's that's a long time to be on a boat. But yeah, I'm also very 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 proud to have been in the little bit entertaining during that time. Nice man. And thank you, obviously, massively for the donation. That's cool. Cool as hell. I have relatively limited stuff I can stick on this. Do we need anything more than a timer? No, we don't. We don't need anything more than the timer and the guidance. That's all I need for these missiles. Shit, son. A right, hundred bucks? Right like that? Promulus. Little legend. In hell. Thank you, dude. Right. Where was I at? Keep the brain in the game. Why did keep the brain in the game? Let's arm this. Oh, do we? Oh, we gotta arm it on the right. Okay. So, one trick you can do with making these multiple stage timers like this is if I name these groups and items correctly. So if I name everything on this with an R in the thing, and then we copy paste it, the timers will retain their links even when they're separated, even though they were triggered as a whole group. Now that doesn't make much sense, I guess, off the top. Oh, we've got two guidance on here. I've put two guidance on. This is more guidance than I need. Shit. Well, that's not how to do it, is it? Okay, the guidance is impossible to target. And is harassing me. What the f Literally being attacked by the guidance. Yeah, the guidance is, like, straight up impossible to target. Where's the... Where's the box for this? I can't delete it? Come on now. Let me get rid of the thing. Alright, I've, I've kind of had enough of you. Just get out the way. Just, I don't care about deleting you anymore. Just go. Go. Get out. And your friend. Look at that. I can't even run into them reliably. With my engineer. It looks like Elysius has managed to do something a bit weird with these blocks. Because the other blocks don't seem to have this collision model problem. Anyway, where was I? Replacing all the stuff I accidentally deleted because those blocks are clearly... It wasn't my fault! It wasn't, look, those blocks are weird. Get away from me. God damn it. Why do you judge me all the time? It's creepy. It's like there's a whole bunch of people watching me or something. Okay. Where was I? Trying to get my shit together. Uh, guidance. And the remote control. And I don't think we need anything else. No, I don't need a, a timer. Not a remote control, Wesley. It's got the same icon on it. You don't need to get that confused. Cool. That should be all that's needed. We have the penetrator. Give her a proper name. So we go R warhead. 
And then, as I said, when I copy and paste the groups, this is all going to work and mean that I can trigger them independently. And but they'll work. Those words that Wasted just said. Uh, interface. I, I we do kind of need to rename these as well. So these are our merge thrusters are handled for us, but guidance will need to be named as well. And then this timer is going to be named our timer. Uh, and reactor stabilizer, they're not important. Okay, so next up, this actually needs uh, Jer Jerry. You could call this uh, it's Jericho Rear Missile. This is going to need a name because this will get confusing quick if I don't do the prep at the start correctly. And then I'm going to need to group these right. So this needs to be our warhead group as well, because these groups are going to duplicate themselves. Uh, oh, guidance. And that's important, because they keep references to all the blocks in them. So if we, I don't think the timer one's going to be that important, but it means that we can go into this timer and set up... After set length of time, I want you to... Arm the warhead and lock a target, and we need another timer for the for the. I think we probably need to give the lock on a bit of. Actually, we don't need to lock a target, do it. It's going to do itself. So the only thing I really need to do in the timer is, I keep clicking that button by mistake since they added it, is change this to launch. After and then these things, after they've been given like two seconds, can do that. Ah, right. This is the mistake I made. Okay, here I'm using individual block references. I need to use, for this to work in the long term, the group references I just made. The whole point of the groups, I almost screwed it up. If you use these references, it'll continue to function even after it's split. If you use these references, it gets really, really confused as soon as you split the grids up. Uh, and it doesn't know which block was which because they end up all being called the same because the way you're doing this is to copy and paste everything over and over and over again. You see, I have actually uh, attempted this once or twice before. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, I need to take not a copy but a blueprint of this in reality. Cool. So technically, the trick now is, having done that, I can actually just ace this on three times, and those groups at the end will correctly represent and be filled by all of the copies, rather than having to set them up each time, and that's, yeah, hopefully going to be what makes this actually fucking work. How have I lost my... there you go. Oh, that's perfect. Uh, that is the right way around. But in theory, as long as I paste these on correctly... I love the collision box being a bit fucked up for no apparent reason. They should all make their own groups. And once I check in here, we should have groups for guidance, merge, timer and warhead that contain all of what I've just pasted on and it means that anytime they separate or connect those groups can maintain being persistent and it means the timers that I put on the main body of this are going to work and if you don't do that then it all falls apart real quick and gets fucking confusing and you need to do this from the start like just absolutely no question it has to happen from the beginning otherwise you're going to have to start again for all intents and purposes so I'm just going to add some random timers to this back section here, I think. Because we're going to need a whole bunch of timers for the main missile to get the separation correct like we want for a Lotus. But I think that works. I think I will also add a set of counter thrusters for when we turn those top thrusters off to stop things from continuing to separate. And I'll put them there so that they're not in line with any of our payload think that makes sense. Uh, is there anything else we're going to want on this other than timers? We're going to want a remote control... Uh, sorry, an antenna and a remote. So that's a good place for that. 
How many blocks clearance do I need for this? Alongside the the mounting points, I need one one on one. I need three in total, basically. Maybe four if I don't want them to actually directly let light each other on fire as they separate. But I'm going to separate them separately, so I suppose that's fine. The engines won't actually be on. <gasps> yes, they will. How do I stop the initial guidance for the missile from activating the engines and everything else on all of the attached bits? Oh, damn, son. That is a complication. Can I turn those engines off? Possibly, but I need to repaste all of these things with an engine group. I was wrong about the end. I'm going to set this up now just in case. Just in case this ends up. You know what? For the rest of them, because I'm going to end up with these little floating things all over. Uh, no, that's wrong groups. Oh, they're not grouped either. I've only got eject thrusters. Hang on. Why have I put the eject thrusters on? Oh, that's the eject thrusters from the main. Oh, do I want... This is for gyrating. No, no, no. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, I'm confusing myself for a second here because there's so many... There's going to end up being so many stages in this. It's going to melt my brain a bit, but... We're fine. Right, what I need to do is turn off the rear ring. There we go. Now these things will delete as individual objects. Let's see if I can manage to actually get at this rubbish. Get out of here, stalker. All oh, right, I need to turn these back on again before I do that, don't I? Bring on. Right. Uh, and I need to actually set the group. Would be a, a pretty grand plan wasted. How about that? Rather than just pacing them back on, having done nothing. So, our oh, thrust. Uh, off. What group? Our oh, thrust. So. And then we're going to need to adjust the timer as well, because this timer needs to turn those thrusters on. So let's need to do it before launch in the sequence too. So lock on and guidance launch. Okay, let's take a fresh blueprint all. Get these puppies hooked on, and then maybe we can do a. Uh, at least a test of... I need to set up the timers, but maybe a test of the initial section. See if this part at least is going to behave a bit before I go too far into things and then discover that it's all a failure because of something I've forgotten. It might be an idea to do the same with the guidance blocks. Yes. Yes, again, this would be a plan so that I at least have options for fixing. I'm trying to predict at the moment all the ways in which this guidance mod can potentially go wrong, having played around with Elysius's, Elysius's script before. Not admittedly with these missiles, but I've played around with his script before, and there are a number of ways in which the targeting of it can get a bit confused. Uh, if you have too many guidance things attached, for example, you know, it, it can go a bit weird at times. So what I think I should also do... Oh, we do have the guide... Oh, all right. I failed. I already had done that. I just don't want to get caught out at the end. Did I not make the groups for the... No, I got the thrust group. Okay. We're good. We're good. I'm trying to pay attention to chat as best I can while doing this, but that's the problem with the, t the sort of slightly more technical ones is... Kind of have to try and pay attention, or you're going to make a massive error. Like I've already done a couple of times in the stream tonight, you know. Best I can do is try and achieve some commentary at the same time. Just go on. And hope this is going to be redonk once it's done. I want, to, I want to devastate things, and I want to be able to spin these things in such a way that they're going to like, maybe fire out and take out... I, w I would love the idea of this being the sort of thing that as it fired, it spun, these things flew out but then had a slightly off-center axis so that the, the point started drifting away from the main target location. 
so you ended up with the potential of like being a, like a proper anti-fleet weapon, you know. Okay, so as we stand, I can turn the guidance on the rear off. Did I update? I didn't update the timers, but I can No, I can't do this one at a time. Oh, this is going to be pretty fucking dull to watch, I imagine, as Wasted continues to make mistakes with... My only defence is at least it is a little bit complicated, but... What I also need to do is go into that timer now and make sure that as they're flying, they, they also turn the guidance on, because at the moment, the guidance is off. So I need them to turn the guidance on first and then launch the thing. And that, hopefully, will prevent the guidance on the main ship from overriding and launching the, all of the missiles at once, essentially. We, I need these missiles to essentially be dormant when the first one launches, the main guidance launches, separate, and then after they've separated, they turn on their own guidance, their own thrusters, their own warheads, and that's the point where they pick up targets and start to do something. Because if it doesn't work like that, then you end up with everything launching together and all the merge box will, even if they separate, they'll all be locked on exactly the same place. It'll probably collide with each other. You know? Okay. So, next step in my, my mind is to add more but I think before we add more we should really test our initial concept so let me add an extra block at the front of this I've got a fresh save add an extra block on here that we can add in the required just to test things out and then so we're gonna need an antenna we're gonna need a camera and we're going to need a remote control, whatever it looks like. It looks like a guidance block, but not. There's the guidance. I don't see the remote. I'm screwing. And we're going to need a remote. Am I putting these the wrong way around? Is that the problem? Is that backwards? That to me looks like an arrow pointing that way, but. You know, same as the guidance block. The guidance block seems to be working, and I'm doing it like that, but every time I do it, it seems to also be backwards. Uh. There's no guidance on here. There's no guidance on the main missile either. I don't need to use the thruster group, Nick Coleman. Thank you for the suggestion, man. But no, thankfully the guidance system handles all the thruster stuff for me. So I shouldn't need to handle the thrusters on these. All I need to do is make sure the guidance is triggerable still. And that's my concern is if, if, if I don't do things right, it won't be triggerable still. Uh, let's get this timer set up first. The timers for this for this far should be fairly straightforward. So basically we're going to need... Um, we've got a bunch of torpedo payload timers here. We're going to need... So... I mean, we are going to need one... This is going to be the separate timer. That's not how you spell separate wasted. Uh, then we're going to have a... After a little while, they're next going to want to... Um, thrust off slash um, detach basically no they're going to want to thrust off and delay for a second to let them slow oh, actually let's thrust off let's thrust off slash launch really isn't it that's the point at which it's going to fire then at this point we're going to need to spin then at this point we're going to need to launch and this is where we're going to begin our timers now because we don't need these bits aren't ready yet uh, and then, as you see, I'm going to need more timers, apparently. Because this launch timer is the point at which it separates the other ones. So for now, for now, let's do two to four. So in number two, we are going to... I need to name our guidance. Oh no, our guidance is named, isn't it? So we're in our guidance system. We're going to 
launch and start our next timer. What do timers look like? There. Yeah. So our next timer is going to be. Actually, we need. Might as well put the spin in as well. Why not? So we're going to. Uh, I like to put these at the end to leave myself room to put uh, actions in before the next timer starts because generally that's what you want to do. Um, then we're going to. That's that timer done. Let's just launch on the main missile. In the spin, we don't actually have a gyro group yet. I'm not even sure if we've got any gyros yet, but I can put in the, the next timer, which is launch. So that's a start there. And then in this timer, we're going to have it separate. So in this time, what it does is it starts the timer on board, all the ships, and then it splits them off. So they'll be spinning, they'll separate, and their timer on board will be running. And that timer on board is the one we set up earlier, these ones, which are all set to two seconds, which are the ones that then launch their own onboard ship, is the theory. And then on the front of here, we do need a few more things, don't we? Let's get the gyro side of things sorted as well. So let's add a, another nine. We do need one more nine here, I think. Or have I got space? I might have space. No, I don't have space. I've got two antennas on this. Uh, yes, yes, I do. Hey, let me delete that one. Derek! Derek, I, I, I hope that is a double chat message rather than an accidental double donation. Because if it is a double donation, dude, um, then I can always sort out a refund or something. I don't, I don't want to get you out of pocket like that. And thank you fucking massively for the donation. What's that? 20 bucks. Potentially times two. <laughs> oh. Hey, Wasted, been, been watching the channel for a while. I love all the stuff you do. Have a case, maybe? Don't know how much case is on the UK. On me? No, that'll do a case for me. I, I don't have particularly expensive beer tastes. It does help. I, I like me just, just some lager. <laughs> but thank you very much, man. You're massively appreciated. I don't have gyros on my bars, do I? I need I need this type of gyro in particular because the stabilizer is going to be used for something else. So in the spin, where's where's that gyro gone? There you go. So this is our spin gyro. And it's going to need to be overridden. And then I need to try and figure out, without losing control of the missile, which way. Not that way. That way. So off. 60 RPM. Actually, let's, let's, let's be serious to begin with. Do I like bitters? Oh, I'm not a bitter man, normally. Honestly. There have been a few I like. But it tends to be sort of like, kind of the... Ironically, the more sweet bit of stuff that's been brewed with, like, honey, for example, stuff like that. That should be good enough. So now all I really need to do is go into the spin thing here. Get that gyro, turn it on. Not that I know what a gyro looks like in this menu still. It's that one. Looks like a light for some reason. And then it's going to start the next timer. And then, in theory, everything's ready. In theory, that's kind of set. I'd need to control it and get ourselves a target. Hmm. Maybe we can cause some multi-target damage this time. I'd be intrigued. It's going to be hard to follow as well, because these things move so damn fast that it's just like... Pew, 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 yeah, everything's gone. <laughs> Best sound effects, by the way, on this channel. Yeah, Chris Kane, basically mead. Virtual gaming, I know I can use Streamlab on YouTube streams. I'm going to get that set up. I have not managed to yet. I thought that was pasting in. I was sitting here thinking, this is taking a long time to put anything up so that I can load it. But no, apparently. All right, you want to line up with that. Go that way around, but then get a bit further back for me, my friend. We're going to need some distance for this to actually test what I'm hoping for. There we go. We've got a target sorted. We have... Maybe a functional missile. I should probably just slap a penetration warhead on the front of here for the sake of tests. 
It's nothing, exp nothing special yet, but maybe it'll work. Uh, and then, and then, I'm going to be a douchebag and call this the middle of the stream break because it's been an hour and a half, and I need a buyer. And I think this is a perfect time to try and make sure that you guys don't disappear in the two minutes I'm going to be gone. Sorry. <laughs> You can forgive me because I've got like other cool looking Space Engineers videos, right? See you in a moment. Sorry. I like the fact that you're keeping track, Dresden. It's alright, I'm back. I said I wouldn't be long. God damn it. I'm back at just the right time as well. Look, it's that track. That one track that apparently is like the track that people like. Alongside those other tracks that people also kind of like. To be fair, there isn't just one. Alright, let's test this motherfucker. <laughs> I got a dislike because I took a piss. God damn it. I had a revelation while I was doing so as well, and that was that I hadn't added the correct timer to the, the setup yet, because I hadn't thought about this. This launch timer here. The group's in there, right? Okay, the group is in there. Good, good. So that's two seconds. This is going to happen immediately. That should be That should be fine. Okay, I don't really know how to properly stand a chance of filming this. Shift middle mouse button maybe, but the speed it's going to go at is two kilometers away. So maybe the answer is just to see it come in and then check out the damage. I don't know. It's a bit tricky. Here's, here's our... I'm going to take another save just in case. And I'm going to take another copy just in case. Because I really want this to work. Just work for me, puppy. Just do it. Okay, so we need to take control of the main the big boy we need to set up our bars where's our camera we need our camera we need our guidance oh no we don't we need our timer I'm going to put start on because that gives me a chance to think about it Hello, Mr. Whale. What do you reckon, chat? Is it going to work? Is is this 
all perfect, or is this the end of days as far as the missile is concerned? Take your bets! Take your bets now. We're lined up. I need to have lock on on the guidance thing. The whale is targeted. Ah, it's a moment of truth. I, I only wanted to back out halfway. I just wanted to get out of the camera. Because you won't have moved. Let's just make sure. It's locked onto the whale. Okay. We're going to ride this for a bit. Oh, no, we're not. Maybe we are going to... Maybe, maybe we'll stay on the camera. I take it back. I've lost the target. I'm terrible. Actually, we should in technically be able to shoot this any direction we want. It doesn't have to be at it. Right, we're going to ride with it for a bit. And then we're going to switch to the, the, the other cam. Let's go. The timer has started. I can't remember how many seconds it's on. Probably two. I might not have changed it from ten. This might be the worst. Quick, music. Nope. 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 Meh, kind of. It's clearly 10 seconds. Either that or that button's not doing anything. Is it doing anything? Did I just add... Oh, I added the first time into my bar like a fucking tool. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm a moron. Okay, uh... We try again. Three, two, one. Boom. I've started it this time. Mmm. Mmm. Holy shit. Some of them launched. Come on, baby. Multiple missile strikes. Come on. Or, or, or no missile strikes. What? Oh no! Oh, damn son! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Ooh. God damn yes! Yes! Fucking first time! Oh, I'm pleased with that. If you can't tell, lol. <laughs> well then. There were three. I saw three. One went missing. One, one went AWOL. We have oh, been at the space run again. That was amazing. <laughs> that was goddamn awesome. Awesome enough, we're going to do it again. <laughs> of course, we're going to do it again. Let's try upping the gyro speed. They all came in together, you notice. Let's see if we can. Or uh... well, maybe that was the problem. I don't know. It's going to be really hard to tell. I can put a seat on it. I'm just going to sit on the thing and find out what happens. Should we go for a ride, ladies and gentlemen? Right here looks about the good spot, do you not think? Let's fly! In style. Check out my... Um, <clears throat> sorry. Nothing to see here. Oh dear. I am quite easily amused. Yeah, if you haven't already picked up on this. Uh. 
Ah, good music as well. Target locked. Well, onwards. The time has begun. The missile awaits. The missile fires. She spins. She spins like a lunatic. We're on target. <gasps> I've managed. All right, I see the problem. Do you see the triple extra target locked whale come up on the screen there? And the three of them just pew, off. Maybe this. Maybe I've made a mistake that actually works out great. This is making me feel quite sick. One hit, two hit. Some of those hit on the wrong side. Three hit. I missed it completely. Whoa! Whoa! I'm sorry, what? There's still one going around. Look at it. It's a bit confused. I think they need more stabilizers. It went the whole way through. You reckon there was a hit on top as well? I don't think there was a hit on top. I'm not seeing any damage up here. There's still one missile that's just confused. He is not sure what's going on. It's like almost. Almost. But look at the speed of them. They're ridiculous. Yes, he is very confused, isn't he? Let's see if I can swat him. Come on, I've got, I'm going to get you. Oh no, I shouldn't get him, because I'll lose my copy of what we're shooting at this thing. And I'm having far too much fun to lose this. Uh, there's a bit of a problem, I think, with... Well, let's go back to where we were. Let's go back to another location. Let's go from above, perhaps. Um, but let me show you where the problem lies. Where is the whale? Oh, let's stay on there. So the problem lies this guidance system isn't activating until the timer one is for some reason. I'm, I don't know if I've managed to turn my main guidance system off or what, but none of them are firing until the other guidance systems turn on. So, oh, these should all be, should all be off. Isn't that, isn't that the deal? Sure, that's the deal. And then this turns the guidance. Aha! May have located part of our problem. One of our. And you're on still. Okay, okay. Okay. It's not great. Let me take a copy of that, but also, where's our. Where's our spare warhead? Oh, fuck it. I'll sort it out later. AKA, I'll forget it later. To stop the gyro after separation, that is not a bad plan. Although the gyro is only on the main vessel. It's only on the main grid. But no, no, that's true. So at this action here, we should also get in there and... She looks like a light. There you go. Off. Okay, uh, okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, important, important part, important part. Let's um, make sure it's coloured. And then we can work on ring number two. But first, I, I need separation first. I need the separation on this to make sense. I need to split up nicely. And then we're getting something. Can you imagine something with already? Look at that. Can you imagine a ship with a whole bunch of these loaded under the bottom and you launch them and it's just like a tr fucking quad projectile? <laughs> That's quite unpleasant, wasted. Oh, I like it, chat. I like it, chat. Good call. Good call. You are... Th this is why, I have to admit, I do quite like when I've got the energy for it doing the technical builds on the stream. Because in reality, it's really helpful having... <laughs> how many eyes? 530 eyes. 
checking over your mistakes. Because you know, you guys know, you've played enough Space Engine, you do make them. There's too many different angles and elements to it, especially when you're streaming as well. So it, it, it is quite nice having many, many eyeballs kind of helping with the general concept. Okay, so we're looking alright here. We're looking alright. Uh, we can grab our view, we can grab our guidance and lock, and we can grab our time too, and we can start it. Not that I think we need our view, and we can also grab a fresh copy, I suspect. Yep. This is probably the best chair I've owned. This is probably better than the Lazy Boy. If it was one block further down, I kind of need to do that now. I'm not going to take a copy, of course. But I can't help but feel that... I should just fly this as a ship. This is my new ship. Pick me out. <laughs> I've seen worse looking ships. I really have. Oh well. Right. Let's see whether or not this gives the separation technique a bit more sense. Target locked. Whale. Activate. Timer running. Wow, that spin comes up so fast. The rear engine's still not fired. Oh, they do all fire at once. Where is this one off to? Okay, actually, that's pretty cool. I don't know what's going on with the timers here, because the gyro is clearly on now. Yeah, it is. But something's wrong with the timers. Quite clearly, something's wrong with the timers. This missile's coming back round. What the? Oh, I see. No, I don't see. What the fuck? Have they not got... They haven't got... They have got a stabilizer. So where's the problem here? Is there a bug with these things and... Because this is off. Okay, so what's going on with our guidance? Target locked, whale. That's all fine. So the only missile that's missing is the main one. Which, for whatever reason, is very, very confused. Uh, the main one's freaking out, and it's not the gyro. It's the eject thruster. Okay. The eject thruster would make sense. Because it turns the thruster on by default, doesn't it? Alright, let's just, for, for a quick test to see whether or not you guys are right, ditch the two eject thrusters. Keep her perfectly balanced. Because it's not the spin gyro. The spin gyro has been turned off. But something else is wrong with the launch sequence as well. The way the, the way this thrust off launch stuff is working should just be launching the missile off that first one. Should be launching the main the main thruster and the main missile. Because look, we've got all of these all of these ones are in a group. And they're off. But there's one more thruster that's on that it should be using. Oh, there you go. Main thruster there. Let me just turn this one off as well. Do you think it's going to turn them on for me? That's a possibility. This is what I mean earlier when I was saying that it starts to sort of actually cause some problems. Like, you have to try and think as best through in advance as you can to make the groups you need to run into these things where, like, the mod does some funny things. Like, in this case, it takes control of the thrusters, the ones that are overridden, and they're off. They're off, but it turns them on. 
but they're still overridden, apparently. Or it seems to be something like that. Maybe I just need to get thrusters in all directions. That's another potential. It's just weird that that's only happening to the main missile, and these little ones are absolutely fine. Let's try it with just those thrusters missing, shall we? I mean, we've, I've removed on this missile. I haven't removed all the extra thrusters. There's one set extra. There you go. Not there you go. <sighs> it's the only problem so far with this mod, in my opinion, is the, the collision boxes for these bits, which I think you can kind of under... Yeah, Space Engine, look how it's trying to delete this thing. <laughs> Get out of here, stalker! Is it easier to delete them with their own selves, maybe? That might make sense if you're using... There you go. Okay, so they're all missing. I'm not going to take a copy or anything. I've still got the same old copy. It's locked. Spins there. Launches there, unlocks and turns the gyros off. Our timer should be set to 2. Cool. Let's just check this is not set to trigger now. Right? Just start. So that should take 2 seconds, regardless. I, I, I wonder if maybe this script has a precise timer thing in it. I did not remove all the thrusters. All right, chat. Chat is is unlaggy enough this evening that it wants to lie to me. Lie through your bare teeth. There are no more thrusters on. I mean, there's a rear thruster. I don't really want to remove the rear thruster. I think we need that. They're just all over me. I, I get the impression you almost want me to fail. No, people are trying to be helpful. Just so happens in this case I haven't screwed up. I've screwed up plenty of times. Mind. Very clear. Plenty of times. Screwed up, he has. But maybe. Maybe not this time. Press F. It takes you out of the camera and the remote control for no reason. Because space engineers. We all enjoy the bit of space engineers, right? Whale is locked. Everyone agree, the whale is locked. Now we're going to... I don't have the copy anymore. Shit, I don't have the copy anymore. Duncan, why do you have to be the harbinger? The bringer of bad news, almost. Thank you. Thank you, Duncan Double. You've at least saved me from realising later down the line that I have, I have no copy of it whatsoever. And I am utterly fucked. Target Large Grid 3092. What? It's called the Whale. There we go. Get a bit confused there, game. Okay. Targeting a piston, I think. There's pistons in the back of that thing. That's fine. Look, the back thruster just doesn't activate at this point. Something about the guidance script. I, mean, I can't argue with the fact that it launches the three torpedoes first in front of it and then follows them up. That is fucking awesome! I'm not sure what this one's... Oh no, it's spinning around with the chair equipped. Oh, holy shit, that's cool. Holy shit, that's cool. It went straight through. Ah! And there's another one. It's come out the other side and it's going back for more. Or is that the one from earlier that's still freaking out? I think that's the one from earlier that's still freaking out. Holy shit, it went straight through. Kind of need to do it again.
They aren't exploding. Okay. Let's just check that. The R timers should be arming the warheads. Yeah, the R timers are on arming the warheads. So that should it should be arming the warheads as they fly. Are you sure it's not exploding? I see explosions. I'm not convinced it's not arming the warheads. Let's take a closer look, shall we? I think the warheads are going off, thanks. Where's your buddies? Why just one? I heard an explosion. Did they collide? Alright, I want to try this with more spin now. More spin! So let's take the spin gyro. Because I want to try and separate these things up hard. So let's go just 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 go test with 60, right? Just full 60. What happens if we spin these things like a lunatic? But hopefully still let them log on lock on. What? Those timers are completely fucked up. I need to inspect that, but I'm not sure I've made a mistake there. I think the guidance script may be screwing with things. Right, do you come back round and get it? That's the question. You've missed, but do you make it back in again? Or do you just disappear off into space? No, you make it back in again. Oh, they've been making it back in again multiple times, apparently. There's all sorts of holes in the roof. Haha! <laughs> Sam Langston, that's not how it works. What you're seeing is the current state of the warheads in that timer. So what it's telling you is what they're currently at. There is no way of setting warheads to disarm. You only have disarm on and off. So just to give you an example, if you go in here, you see we, all we've got is arm warhead on off. There is no on or off option. There's just on off and it's telling you the current state of it. So if I put them onto my bars here, well, in fact, let's first check in here. You can just see if we go and check the warheads. As you can see, currently they are not armed. It's telling you the current state, not the state it's changing it to. It does work. Uh, there's going to be a bit of problem launching the thing. I need a delay on that first timer. But something's really weird with these timers. So you're just starting the you should just be launching the missile and then you start this timer after you've launched and then you start their timer separate them and turn the spin off and all the time is in timings correct I might have to talk a bit with Alysius about this one. I think this is to do with his script, but Alysius is like an amazing guy and completely reworked like some of my, my designs to make them work, basically. Stuff that I'd made with his scripts in the past, and then he was like, uh, yeah, well, the, you kind of need some help there with those. Let me remake them now that I've fixed my script. Okay, so I think... I think we kind of have something semi-functional here. There's obviously a precursor stage I need to add to separate this thing. Um, but I have an idea how we can do that with timers that doesn't require me putting funky thrusters on the missiles themselves. So I can't help but feel like maybe the next option, I mean, maybe we want to extend it, right? Actually, here's a test. Here's a test we can do. 
I'm going to assume that the timers on these things have been adjusted to use precise timers, and that's why everything's going off so fast. Pre-arm the warheads as a test. No, they're definitely going off, mate. The warheads are working. And actually, what I was saying there makes no sense either. So, no, I take that back. Let's expend it. So, in order to fit more of these on, uh, I'm going to need to, first of all, separate some from one of them because I've screwed up. Uh, actually, this is an easier way of doing things. What? It says the rear ring is off. Okay, cool. There we go. So I think in front of it we should have some penetration ones. Add more payloads just for grins. There is a bit of that. Here's a thought. Here's a thought. Uh, let's take off that thruster and extend it in both directions so that I can add on the front a penetrating selection and on the rear an extra explosive selection. Yes. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so, in theory, for the penetrative section, if I copy this, but then do a bit of renaming, is that going to be good enough? No, it's not really. I mean, this is kind of what I want as a layout, but I need to do some more adjustment than just that, unfortunately. First of all, missiles forward of this point and rearwards of this point can have a fourth missile, because laws, why not? Okay, so let's turn... I love how it keeps telling me that this is on. It's not on. Turn the rearing off, get rid of those, do some renaming on the groups on this, because this is no longer our rearing. This is now... To be fair, neither is the other one, but... Uh, this is FR1. That's an exclamation mark. Fail, 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 fail. Need a front ring. Don't need all these timers. Why should we do on this, don't we? We need uh, these timers named better. So... We, oh my, well, yeah, we don't actually need these timers, because unless I... Unless I go really crazy, and do I make the missile split up into three different parts? Or is that completely unnecessary? That's completely unnecessary, right? It's got to be completely unnecessary. Which means for the rest of these, I don't need... These two timers I need. I don't need any I need one timer per thing, basically. Because they're gonna be triggering sections rather than Yeah, brain melt! Brain melt. Hmm. Oh, in fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the front end of this working. And then I'm going to go and try and fit it onto a ship and see how much fun it is to just deploy it like that. So let me whack the engine back on there. I need to set up one more rack. Get this rack right and then we should be good. So all this rack, as I said, needs really is the launch one. But just for the same, for the front ring instead. Let me just check this is updated. We got spin gyro, this can go away, this can go away, this can go away. What we need on this one is 
front ring off. And then we will need... On this, these all need... These are all wrong. If they're still in these groups, they'll fuck everything up. I want to I want to lo loose them as two separate rounds, basically. I think that'd be far more enjoyable. Now, it might fuck up, but if it does fuck up, what it does is completely define what our problem is. So, if now I do F... Tell us. It'll tell us what the problem is. F thrust. F timer. Cool. F timer needs to be set up again. F thrust, F guidance. Those have all sorted themselves out. What did I just remove? Did I just remove? It? Oh, it was the arm warhead, wasn't it? Yep, yep, yep. The link does not work in the description. I will fix that afterwards. Yeah, if you want to get red in chat, the best way to get red is to out wasted space, because then it highlights it for me, and it's not in, in amongst the spam. That's not saying I'll read everything, guys. It's just saying, like, if you actually want me to see your message, that's the best way of doing it, because trust me, there is a lot of chat driving by. Okay, so that should all be sorted. We got a timer on this. They're all sorted. That's all sorted. So this is our front section. Let me go and rename it to what are we calling it? Jerry Front Ring. I know that's not the same as my previous name, but whatever, I don't care. I just want to get this tested now. Because I have a, a dangerous plan. One of the things I want to make as a theme of the the Space Engineers streams in general is that I like to I like to try and make Space Engineers multiplayer as best we can. So I do kind of want to end on something that I got sent from a friend of mine that looked kind of fun. So I might end the stream up on a Let's grab some 16 random people from chat and see if we can make this work kind of approach. Well, that's scary. Hi from Virginia. Thank you, Dr. Fox. Dr. Wasted, or how I learned to stop worrying and love the missile. I like that. I mean, that top missile won't fit. Depends how I make the mount, Brian. Depends how I make the mount. So, the next thing we need to do is on the spin timer, which just toggles this gyro. Ah, how are we going to do this? Let's put into... Let's remove from this tyre. Let's launch on our... Let's remove from this. That. And instead put up what we've got in the spin. So that's a spin on. Put this in the... Just to do a temporary test. I'm not thinking of keeping it like this. Got two spin gyros now. In the spin, we trigger start F timer off front ring. Start the next one. Is that the same as this? That turns the spin gyro off. Okay. In theory, we're right. Poor, poor whale. It's getting beaten the shit out of this evening. Maybe I should um, replace the whale with a, a fresh target. What do you reckon? Uh, where is he? NGC. Aha. There we go. Fresh target, I think. 
that is a fair point, Serial Scout, who is suggesting that I offset the position of the missiles on the rear ring so that we've got different positions on each ring so that they don't hit the same locations. Uh, I think that's more going to come from the spin than anything else because I think it's the guidance system that's really driving things. Apparently, um... Oh, there you go. Now it's decided it's fine. I'm trying to paste it. There we go. <laughs> Blueprints at the moment are a bit weird and laggy. It's another big build that I never finished. These two do, do come out from time to time in streams, it seems. Look, there it is. Can you see where it is? It's there. Because it is... It is large. I, I love the look of this one. I really need to finish this one off. Gre the out I did this one outside in and the greebling on it. This isn't a final version. It's missing a whole bunch of mods, which is why some of it doesn't look quite right. Uh, but yeah, I had big Im Imatep thrusters in the front and rear. Pretty cool. She drove really well as well. But hey, let us instead fly. Fly, my beauty, fly. Does it matter which remote I go in? One of them's got buttons, I suppose. There we go. Um... I guess... Let's try. Fingers crossed. I press the button. Come on, baby. Be kind to me. Be oh so kind to me. The front lot of launch. The rear lot of launch. And oh, that was going to work. No. No, the rear lot collided with the front, front pylons. But the front lot left. That was going to work. I, the offset comment was completely correct. I imagine some missiles have... No, no, the missiles have already hit. Yeah, they, they're so... They just plow through the middle, which I can kind of understand because they're designed to hit moving targets. That's really the deal. These things are designed to hit moving targets, so... I don't know, maybe, maybe to end on, as mentioned, we could set up a little game where... Perhaps... Right, what I'll do... Let's get ourselves... Do you know what really needs some of these things? Do you know what really needs some of these things? What needs some of these things? Is this puppy. What do you mean it contains some blocks that are not in this world? Oh, I've not got the aerodynamic wings mod on. Okay, okay, okay. Right, in which case, let's grab a copy of the missile before I completely lose it. I just replaced the copy of the missile. Please tell me I saved. Please, 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 please tell me I saved, because I just replaced my copy. I have a tip! I have a tip. Thank you, Mr. Dexfire. And thank you, Mr. Sam Langston. Anyway, said love the channel and content. Looking forward to more airsoft content soon. Yeah, I got someone on the on the burner at the moment, man. Working on it. Yeah. Well, on weekends when the guy I'm doing it with is available. But yeah, some's coming. Also, can I buy my way into the end of the stream thing with thanks and a pint on me? Cheers. Uh, it doesn't work like that. It it is unfortunately. I mean, while I appreciate, of course, the donation and yeah, I mean, in the end, it doesn't really work like that, because if it did, that would be kind of... You can see where that would go, and you can hopefully understand why I wouldn't be happy with taking that approach to it, if you know what I mean. Because it just encourages a mindset that I'm not really keen on. So, yeah, from that approach, I just want to say, no, not really. However, thank you. I believe I saved a suitable save. Let's find out. But yes, thank you very much for the donation, Chris. I really appreciate it. And, and then, as, as I said, to end on, 
we're going to have to do a few tests in atmosphere uh, well on something that's not this because I think you guys need to see something else as well uh, there's a, a, a little thing I've been sent that should be pretty damn cool I just want to check that I actually have the thing uh, I, I cannot believe I think they have actually replaced my updated I need to check this now. I think Space Engineers have replaced all of my updated loading screens. So I, I, I did a bunch of loading screen replacements with new tooltips and stuff. And I think they've got rid of them because not a single one has come up the entire of tonight. And I've reloaded the game a few times now. I'm going to have to check this. Just have a quick look. Have you taken away all my custom stuff? Have you re-downloaded it just to hate me? Gooey screens. No, they haven't. I've just been hideously unlucky. Apparently. I've just been really, really unlucky. <gasps> Yay! Look, look what it is. That means I can just, just super quick go, uh, right, if I was to put, say, um, what we really need is one of these on there. That way up. one of these like that and then we need to just like take the uh... a part of the point of reloading was for me to load that mod up and of course if I quick load I can't do that maybe I can get the razor wing that was built with ring wheel uh, wing parts wasn't it the not balked one yeah like hell it is like hell it is fucking balked as hell mate it is broke holy hell do you want to see no, let's see if this fixes this so, uh, some of you guys will have seen the little trader in Top Engineer with this this particular vehicle. Uh, I would love to release it because I think it's quite a cool design. You know, I think it's got a, a look to it that makes a lot of sense, uh, and I think the you know from most uh, most angles, it looks pretty cool. It has just one pretty major problem. Watch this. Ready? See all the hydrogen die when I remove that turret. No reason. Yep. That's the thing it does. Now. Now, if you wanna if you wanna see a wonderful a wonderful secondary effect of this, check this shit out. See you ready. Now, if I delete this hydrogen thruster here first, the one attached to the back. Watch. But if I delete that. Oh. Sorry. If I just delete. Just delete. What? Yeah, that's right. That hydrogen thruster there, while it exists, it also doesn't exist. And if you can delete it first, somehow. It's fine, but something's completely fucked about that back hydrogen thruster. But it's alright. Because we do actually, believe it or not, have a solution for this sort of shit. So, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave my spectator camera here. I'm going to take my engineer. I'm going to take a copy of this here little, little missile. This here little missile that, that, okay, might blow itself up, but hey, we can work on that next time. And then, yeah, if you if you see this turn up in a game, just just destroy that rear turret and it'll fall out of the sky. It's hilarious. <laughs> like you can just just that's what I discovered the first time I tried to use it. It was just sorry, what space it writ? Uh, uh, oh, uh, okay. Thank you, thank you. What I was looking for, space engineers, you're 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 very kind. It was exactly what I was after. Okay, so this is this is clearly not a perfect version. I, I will I will most definitely work harder on this in future because I think it's quite fun. Um, this camera view is somewhat far from ideal. Let's see if we can still line her up, because it's not not only... 
reversed, but also... Aha! <laughs> we got you now, friend. So the plan is, I'm going to press the timer on this, launch it, make sure it goes, which it does. There we go, she's off. Then I'm going to move my space engineer to here quickly, and I'm going to run like the wind. Run, 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 run. Oh, yeah, the hydrogen's broke. Oh, well then. Help. Or not. Anytime you like. Anytime now. I don't even know what happened. And we will never know what happened. I have no view on what happened. I, I maybe trash cleanup killed it? Linearly moving, accelerating with less blocks than 20 further than... Yeah, trash cleanup killed it. That fits that build. It would, they were either linearly moving or accelerating with less blocks than 20 and they were a thousand more than a thousand meters from me. Cleaned up! But I'm, I want to find out what happens! lost one. Okay, I can do it this time. Don't worry guys, I got this. I got this. It's in the bag. I'm that sort of guy, you know, it just takes me a few tries. I'm not sure what I'm trying to say here. Come on! Oh my fucking word, this is so hard to do. I really need to, uh... Yeah! Right, okay, we're locked on. She's off. Let's make sure she goes. Right, she's going. Let's pace back. I still can't fly, of course. Maybe if I turn it off and on again. the answer. Turn, on, turn it all off and on again. No? Also, I can't help but notice... Oh, the missiles don't work on... Do the missiles not work on large ships? I might not have targeting on for large ships. It's not, no, I've got targeting on for small ships. It doesn't matter. Without following this, I can't see what the hell's going on. This is all falling apart so very fast. So very fast. No, it locked on. What am I talking about? There's no targeting. There's no sensors. It locked on. So what the fuck is happening to it? Let's do one of the, uh, uh, like the, the old school ones. Maybe this one will behave. No, that's not, that's the same one. I swear I just took a copy of one of the original versions, but okay. No, apparently I'm just repeatedly taking a copy of the one that's actually in front of me, even though it shows me that I'm taking a copy of that. The one I'm getting when I go over here, oh, there we go. There we go. No, that's the front section. Shit, well, I'll fuck it then. Fuck it then. I think the answer here 
is to go and try out what I've been mentioning. Uh, I believe I'm going to have to work... No, I have it in here somewhere. Where is it? Giving away all the shit. There it is. There it is. Right, that's set to friends only. That should all be good. Not set to auto save. Not set to auto. Cool. A bit of MP madness to finish the stream, I think, would be the best way. The best way! Really, none of my custom loading screens at all. The whole night. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So. A little thing sent to me by Mr. Clockwork. Inspired by a Guns of Icarus. Well, I called it Guns of Newton, if I remember rightly. It's probably not going to be in there because it was a world. But I called it Guns of Newton for the sake of Space Engineers lols. But this entire thing is designed to be played two teams, four man per airship. These are Pyramidions, or Pyramidons, sorry, from uh, Guns of Icarus, if you're aware of it. And they have turrets on every floor. And the idea is you get into a control point, and then you can control the turret from that control point. You can run around repairing shit and so on, and it's a fight to the death. I think you guys get the idea. We've got a couple of Gatling guns up the front. We have... We jump down... Gatling just here in a kind of odd position. But gets a bit of coverage. We have... I think... What's this? I don't know what that does. I think that might be the afterburners. Something like that. There are afterburners and the like. Somewhere around there's a missile turret. Can't remember where the missile turret is. Is it upstairs? I never use the pyramid on. Oh, there it is, and there'll be one on the other side, I imagine. Nope, just on one side. Single-sided. Oh, I see. The idea is that you've got a pair of guns on one side to burst things with, and this looks weird because it's up against the side. But, I think this is pretty cool. we got a pair here. And across the lake, guess what? We got a pair here too. So, what I'm suggesting is I take a little save here. In fact, with the spawn points, I think I can, I've can. i got a better idea. What I do, I've shown you guys this shit, I need to reload this quickly. Because what I need to do with this game is turn off jetpacks. Because that will stop a lot of messing around from people. Stop people from being able to do too much craziness. So let's get in here. Let's turn off in the advanced settings. Turn off jetpacks. Let's turn off weapons and tools. Oh, actually, you want tools, but let's turn off weapons. Actually, no, we need weapons, don't we, as well? Ignore me. Uh, let's turn off spectator. I can always force it on for me. That should be okay. Yeah, that should be okay. As long as people behave. The balloon in this version does not provide lift. There is some mods out there that could do so. Yeah, if you come off the vessel, it's game over for you, I'm afraid. Not a single custom loading screen. They've done something to make my custom loading screens not work, I'm sure of it. It would not be the first time. So yeah, no jetpacks. So I think the answer here is to just go... Uh, what have we got... Uh, factions. Let's uh, leave. Are this owned by the first colony before I... No, they're all owned by nobody. Good, good, good. In which case, let's D. 
ditch the first colony. And I shall be on the spec. Spi. I just call myself ref. So I'm on the spectator faction. If I've got it on friends only mode, if there's a couple of trustworthy guys from my usual crew that can come and jump onto the game that want to join in, um, then that would work because I can make you guys faction leaders and so on. You can control each side. How do I get inspiration for my ships? Uh, normally by fiddling around, to be honest. I'm not someone that takes like good custom, custom builds or so on. As far as like inspiration for what the design's all about, I mean, if it's not inspired by a mod, it tends to be inspired by a thought I had while either I was pissing or in the car. To be brutally honest, that tends to be what it comes down to. Car stuff or, or yeah, taking it by. Yay, clockwork's around. The man who made the map himself. Good, good. Yeah, this is not on Twitch because normally I would be streaming uh, uh, Top Engineer on, on this night. And so, because Top Engineer would normally be here, this guy's a promotion. Trusted dudes, back at Clockwork and Farrell. And once they're in, one of you guys get blue, one of you guys get red. I'm going to give myself the tools of the winner. There we go. Tools of the winner achieved. I can't jetpack, but I can do a lot of other stuff. Can't help but notice the sim speed feels like it's gone to shit already. Are they lying to us with the sim speed meter? That should be a uh, Space Engineers video, do you not feel? Because at the moment, I, d I don't look at this and think, hey, that's running at 1.0. I think, hey, that's running a bit like soup. Look at this dude run. Look at me run. See how it's kind of a bit slow and soupy? That's not the actual... You're just lying to us. You've just made that number say 1.0 all the time. Don't try and con me, Space Engineers. I'm onto your game. How would you join this? As soon as these guys are in and have made us a faction, which it looks like we've got a blue team. So what you guys will need to do once you get into the game is you'll need to kill yourself in order to spawn at the relevant faction medbay. Please, uh, my two mods on the two teams, go and actually take control of your med bays. Make sure that they're on your team only so that people can spawn in the relevant places. That way they can't spawn anywhere else, so they'll have to. Otherwise, they'll have to spawn in space. I think that makes sense. You there. Mr. Clockwork. This is a, an ideal test of stream delay. This man is watching the stream, I'm sure. Wouldn't be here otherwise, but... How long does it take? There we go! There's your stream delay before he gets out and realizes he is stuck in front of. Oh. Well, damn it. Get out of here. I won't do it again. And no cheeky freak. No. Behave yourself. Behave, wasted. What a pretty view. Exercise Corson getting out from gun chairs on the edge of hulls. So this one here? Beware. <laughs> we took a bit of live testing here. Yeah, if you want to join, just die. Boing. Boing. How far will he bounce? Oh. Well, god damn it, Space Engineers, you are literally spoiling all the fun. Moment by moment, you spoil the fun. But, I have the power. The power of the space gods. Right, okay, game is full. We have people in. Looks like we have control over the relevant faction sides. We have a blue team, we have a red team. 
let us do the most dangerous thing you could possibly ever do on a live YouTube stream, which is click public on the Space Engineers game. Yep, bring it Space Engineers, what you got? What have you got? And let us, because I think maybe you guys will find this as interesting as I find it, let's turn on our little performance monitor graph. Because these can sometimes be kind of fun to have a look at. Let's see, can I do one of these and one of those? Hey, look, I kind of can. That's a bit big though. Get rid of you. Oh, I see. I see the problem. There we go. Still says it's private. No, it's definitely public. I definitely fixed that. Okay, and that's interesting in and of itself because it looks like Space Engineer's overall CPU usage has dropped again. Space Engineers was maxing my system out the other day. Completely maxing it out. And right now, things are looking relatively chill. Who's get yourself back there with the other boys? Oops. He's got some fighting to do. While I appreciate people following me on Twitch, uh, that's not a relevant announcement for right now, I feel. <laughs> What's going on is I'm being a lunatic and inviting a bunch of random people into an online game while I'm streaming on YouTube because this is a just a great plan. This is how the best streams are made. I say that. This is pretty much how Top Engineer came about. Not Top Engineer, Engineer Wars came about and that's about the best thing I've done in a while. It's hilariously good fun and it works really well. So, hey, let's do more of this. I was thinking of making tonight Spotlight Night. Tuesdays is Spotlight Night. But yeah, I might have to do that in the future. We'll have to see how Top Engineer goes. I don't want to spoil anything that I could use on Top Engineer. So maybe not this time. Maybe in future. I don't know. I like the idea of a Spotlight Night though. Where I just have a stream that's just spotlighting like four builds or something. Or four different things. Mods, builds, scenarios, whatever they might be. What I'm trying to do, we call this Space Engineers Testing. Look, look, look at the chat. Shouldn't there be a ship here? That's a good start. <laughs> Aravale has a very good point in chat. Why, if you guys are together, there's a red and blue team chat in Discord at the top called Wasted Faith that I use for Scrapyard Wars. Scrapyard Wars, AKA Engineer Wars. Well, uh, on the Discord server, you should probably make use of it. Holy crap, the sim speed claims to be 0.8. Wow, look at that 0.8 in action. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's group survival quality, I would say. Or it's the $10 million man. One or the other, we're not really sure. You there. Wandering madman. Uh, I feel like you should be selling me some low quality gear at this point. You have an NPC style name. So yeah, apparently compared to Engineer Wars, which we recorded Friday live on Twitch as well, at exactly the same bitrate as I stream to YouTube, this is looking pretty nasty. And I can definitely agree with that. Guys, get in some vehicles. Blue team, what are you... Who didn't take control of their medbay? 
Who is it? One of you motherfuckers. Is it you? Was it you? Was it you? Was it you? It was probably you. Today's LGBT mascot, Donna Keys. Was it you? No, it wasn't you. It was one of the guys that joined first. It was Batcat or Farrell or Clockwork who's DC'd. Oh my word. Look at this terribleness. So if you guys wonder why Top Engineer has not been a thing of live late of late, this is kind of why. Is because doing live things in Space Engineers is basically rolling a dice. And you never know what's gonna happen. My proposal here would be uh let's have a go and have a look at the other side. There's some on this side. Do blue team have anybody? Oh, blue team have a few people. Blue definitely needs more. We need more on blue, folks. More on blue. Blue only have one airship. Oh no, they've got a pilot for both. They've got a pilot for both. Ah, signs of a murder. Should go on the investigation. Somebody died here today. Who could it be? I suspect they may be this way. It's so laggy. It is so laggy. If you can't get in, it's probably because it's full. This is the laggiest thing in the world. Uh, just join teams. We've got to get ready to go. Chat, get ready to go. I want to see what happens. I just, I just need to see what happens. They're, they're 11 kilometers apart. It's going to be carnage before they even get there. How many have we got on each side? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the blue team. That seems kind of wrong, but maybe eight is the max number. So, and one, two, three, four, the four people on the red team. Yeah, I can see, I can see a slight imbalance in what's going down here. Everyone has decided that they are blue. And what they don't understand is the red ones go faster. Those boys be stupid, stupid. Ooh. Thinks that the blue one is the best. The best boys, they in the red one. Multiplayer is improved, but it's not ready for 16. I, th I think this is what we're getting out of this entire shenanigans here, is that it's it's not ready for this shit. We need a pilot. Right, well... There is very little choice here but to uh, just go and, and let the carnage unfold because this is too unstable to get consistent teams to get anything really. So if you have control of a ship, fly that ship. Fly it hard, fly it strong. What do you mean we need a pilot? You are the pilot, rumor me too. How do I spawn in at medbay? Well, if you haven't figured that out, that you need to spawn in as a space engineer and join a faction. This is a mess. What a mess. Go. Go with your ships.
What have they done to kill the multi-threading on this again? I don't understand. This this was using all my CPU recently, and now it's just screwed. Look at it. Wait a minute, I have no idea what currency that is. That's ridiculous. Uh, ours? I'm I, I'm I'm completely uh, completely unsure. Neo yeah, says thank you very much for a, a number with lots of zeros in it. Yeah. Now I am. Um, I think what we saw there was a friendly. I'm enjoying what Space Engineers looks like, not so much what it runs like. Uh, oh, hang on, hang on. One of my cores is at 100% now. And let's be clear, I've got my, my hex core i7 overclocked to 4.6 GHz at the moment. It's not particularly massive overall, but it's not bad for a sort of general overclock. So what I think I'll do is I'm going to drop the number of players down a couple of slots to stop people from joining and disconnecting all the time, because I think it'll make us be full. I, I, it does feel like last update they just killed the multi-thread code. It's not loading my system up like it used to. It's 65%, like 76 at best. Really used to load this up way more. What's going on here? I can't see any targets either. What's happening? What's happening with the other team? The other team have launched. Both of the other team's airships are on the fly. Let's let's follow them in. Problem is now the sim speed's so low that. But I mean. God damn it, space engineers! You are capable of such fucking awesome shit when you work. Like this, just this is, uh, there's a couple of airships just floating in for a battle. Oh, it's Argentinian pesos. Okay, I, I was assuming that it was going to have the P in for Argentinian pesos. That was the only one I could think of with the AR, aside from Armenian, which it, I guessed it probably wasn't. But look at this. It's just that endless scenario of space engineers kind of taunting us. Because while Star Citizen and so on is all great, I have to say it doesn't wet my whistle quite as much as the ability to go, you know what, today I want to play 4v4 airships steampunk airships 
with my buddies and let's make that. And at the same time, it looks good enough that you're really not complaining that much. It, it's that really stupid scenario where I have a lot of praise and a lot of criticism for a game at the same time. You don't really know what to do about it. Shift middle mouse button is a cool keybind. Oh, there's airships on the horizon. There is airships on the horizon, ladies and gentlemen. There is a combat incoming. They're actually going to do something. Can it be a late night commentated stream from the wasted space? Can he pull it back from the brink? The stream's been going downhill for the last hour and a half, but maybe hour and a half? No, more like three hours. I don't know how long we've been going for. About that long. And yet, eventually, at the end, they come in for what really matters, and it looks like we've got red team taking a flanking position. We have on the left, who's... We have no information on the pilots. Pilots broadcasting is off. All we know is that Farrell is piloting the blue team ship, who are up against a couple of combatants at the moment. Are we just going to see an early game ram? Unfortunately, just the most common end to a Space Engineers battle. Hopefully they can avoid that sort of outcome, but it does not look likely. No, we have an immediate ram. Someone is falling out of the sky. It looks beautiful, but it could be the end of both vessels as the last remaining red team ship tries to pull round for some sort of manoeuvre. I don't see a huge amount of gunfire going on here. I'm not sure why. Maybe if I was to turn the chat on, I would have a much better idea. But for now, hang on. Is this the blue team pulling back? It looks like they might actually still have it in the bag. Locking in on the blue ship's point of view, and we have the last remaining red coming in for a shot. Another blue has joined the battle. What happened to our final red contender? Is he out of the sky? I think he may be down. I can see a little bit of glimpse of wreckage down on the floor there, which leaves two blue. Two blue. No, everyone's alive. Everyone is still in the sky. Either that or there is some shenanigans going on here. I am struggling to tell the colours of the team because while one team very clearly has blue kind of flags, the colour of their hulls looks a bit similar in the reflected light apparently. I'd say that one down there is blue except his flag is quite clearly red and we've got another ram! Apparently the Pyramidions are designed for this sort of battle and we have a severed front end. It's ridiculous the carnage we're taking. Space Engineers kind of holding on. I hate to think how many people are disconnecting except the disconnect message frustratingly shows up on top of even no UI footage. So if there was a disconnect message to be had, we would have already seen it. There it is. Just to prove his point. He had to go and mention it, didn't he, Light Force? Yep, that's right. Desperately plugging in his Xbox controller to try and get those leak pans. This is working remarkably well. In the background, we have one very ruined ship, but we have to focus in on the combat here. I wish I could see which ships were which during this sort of combat. There is a little bit of gunfire coming in. People saying, get in Discord. There's clearly a bit of communication going on as well. Let's have a look at the incoming between these two Pyramidions. Yes, we have fire going down. This isn't actually working. There's a little bit too many rams going on for my liking. Oh my god, that's a brutal collision. I think, I think the red team there have lost their pilot. I think their ship is going down simply from the nature that they have no pilot remaining. Let's go over there and have a quick check, a quick update. Yep, red team in pilot is down. So that is just a sitting duck now for any further combat. That doesn't stop the fact that his comrade in arms is coming in to try and support him. Single blue team vessel in the combat at the moment. Don't know where the other blue is currently hiding. He is apparently retreated into the distance. Either that or clanged out. No. No, he is coming in from the top. We have a secondary round. The bubble is burst. What is actually up in here? Oh, it is full of thrusters. So technically, it's full of weldy thrusters. There are buttons you can press to repair your vessels, ladies and gentlemen. There are buttons you can press to repair... Red team have figured this out. Look at them repair on the fly. Holy shit, they actually got a bit of repairs there. They're back up and running. 
this would explain the slightly dodgy sim speed so far is that all of these vessels have projections. This also explains why we still have an ongoing combat. They're going to need to focus on a single target to actually pull this off now. This is not going to be easy. If all ships can be repaired, then there's a lot of work to be done. Red team focusing the missile fire on this rather wounded blue. Crippled. Balloon torn open. Is there enough downward thrust to keep him in the sky? It seems so. Can they find the repair button or is the repair button broken? Is it possible to even break the repair buttons? We don't even know when this first pilot of... I don't know what. Balloon scrap engineer top wars. Guns of balloon scrap engineer Icarus wars. Yes. That one. Guns of balloon scrap engineer Icarus wars. <laughs> Oh my word, the next ram is coming in. It looks like it may be, may be a bad move by the red team involved. They've chosen to take out the blue. The blue is definitely down, but the blue is coming down on top of them. Can they pull out of this drop? Can they repair in time? Both teams' repair mechanisms seem to be down in the distance. We have someone taking the piss by the looks of things. Uh, it's a shame I can't work out who you are. Trust me. Trust me, sir. If I was to work out who you are, if I was to work out who you are, I would be ensuring that you are never welcome on anything we do ever again. Just saying. It's like, the whole point of this is I have a certain amount of trust in people joining. And you there. Not so much. Looks like it's someone who's just killed himself. Is there any way of seeing? Unfortunately not. Anyway, let's get back to the action. I am apparently no longer actually on a vessel. So, we have a red and a blue still in the air. And... The blue is looking crippled. Red team is looking pretty much intact. It looks like this is the red vessel that's basically figured out how the repair mechanism works properly. They're doing their best to keep themselves intact. It looks like they've repaired their prow many times. Blue spawn has apparently been killed. As you potentially would expect for a YouTube stream. I am feeling somewhat sad now. On two counts. Count number one. Sorry, I should be following this, this wonderful explosion. Count number one is that I did not dedicate this entire episode to this concept and this entire stream to this concept, which was kind of what I was thinking to begin with. Clockwork, you have done very good work here, man. I love it. We need to integrate some more ships into this scenario, and I think you've done a great job of doing the whole repairing thing. See, start to see that in action. Whoever was piloting this red ship, I wouldn't be surprised to find that if it was Clockwork himself. But yes, whoever was here... It wasn't Clockwork. It was someone else. I need to get on board. Uh -huh. Let's get on board with the winning red vessel. I, I'm loving just the, the multiplayer potential at the moment. What, what it opens up as far as what you can do with just Space Engineers streams. And, just, and, and the fact that these are potentially a little bit enjoyable just means that in reality, if you can think about it, this means you're going to have a shitload of fun if you can make up some scenarios for yourself and your friends as well. I mean. Donna Keys, our LGBT mascot. Good job, man. The final red vessel standing. Well, this works incredibly well. I, I have to say, I'm very impressed. And I think this might be a good point to end it because I kind of want to come back and do a bit more of this concept in future because these airships are awesome. More Guns of Icarus in Space Engineers. More multiplayer in Space Engineers. More silly challenges in Space Engineers. All of these things. Yay. It finally gets to the point where what we've always wanted to do is kind of vaguely possible. So, 
with the image looking across the plains, let's 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 just cheat it to finish. This is one thing that I really wish they'd fix. Watch it. What can you imagine? Look, if I turn uh, under atmosphere the sun speed down to this low, look how fast it pans round, but look how broken the shadows are as it does so. So thank you very much, guys. I hope you enjoyed the stream this evening. Been a whole bunch of you here, so it's been an absolute pleasure streaming for you all. If you did enjoy it, please hit that like button. Really help me out. Look forward to a bit more over the week. We've certainly got, uh, obviously, my usual Twitch schedule, which is on Mondays and Fridays. So it'll be on Friday. Friday's stream will be building the challenge for Saturday's streamed Engineer Wars. So on Saturday, I will be streaming Engineer Wars live in the evening with Tex and with Wedge with two teams building off in a new challenge. I know you guys seem to have been enjoying that whole thing. So if you have been, tune in then. If you're interested in taking part, the whole point in Engineer Wars, I'm getting a sign-up form set up, is that you guys set up your own teams and just come forward and say, hey, we got four guys, we got five guys, we want to take part. And then we'll get you guys involved. We'll find a time and that's the point we'll do it. So if you guys are interested, let me know get on discord please hit the like button please hit subscribe if you're new smash the dislike if you've had enough of me streaming all the time i have been doing it a lot of, of late i understand and otherwise cheers folks thanks for joining me i will catch you for the next one which will be well tomorrow because i'm being a good boy at the moment mm -hmm, mm -hmm. maybe we can end with uh, a little bit of this perhaps just to remind you that this will be coming up and coming back nice and soon as well Night-night. <laughs>